Hi, my name is Mark Joseph and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And you're here to give five tips on hiring a family law lawyer. I understand that this video may be a little bit biased because I'm a family law attorney. Obviously, I'm taking in clients. And if you have a family law situation, case or matter, I would tell you to consider our firm. However, I'm gonna do the best I can to give you unbiased advice that I think will really help you narrow down in which attorney you choose to help you in your family law case. But before we get into it, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and check out our other videos as well. So my first tip in hiring a family law attorney is to know their experience. This is a very general topic, so I'll try my best to break it down. You should keep in mind how many years they've been practicing, even though that, that doesn't mean that they're a better lawyer, but you should have an idea of how long they've been doing it. More importantly, you should know how long they've been practicing family law and how much of their practice is on family law. There are many lawyers, just to keep in mind, that are barred and do what is called general practice, which is they touch on different areas of law. Now, just because they practice a bunch of different areas doesn't mean that they don't know family law. However, there are some lawyers who practice different areas, and then there are some lawyers who practice exclusively family law. So all things considered, you just want to know this. What you do with that information is ultimately up to you, your comfort level, and what you want and need for your case. The second tip I have for you is to know the strategy that the lawyer considering would implement in your case. After you meet in it with an attorney, I believe you should have a healthy idea of how they would move forward with your case if they would take you on as a client. At our firm personally, we try our best during consultations to, aside from giving the law and how the law applies to their facts, giving our potential clients the strategy we'll implement. Some cases, most cases, could probably get resolved with some discovery, going to mediation, and trying to work hard for resolution. And some cases just need to go to trial. The important thing is making sure anybody who's considering our services know how we would approach their case. And I think it's so important that before you select your attorney, you know how they're gonna go about dealing with your case. The third tip I have for you in deciding to select a family law attorney is to know what fee arrangement and options they have. It sounds crazy, but Different lawyers have different ways that they charge and implement their services cost-wise. You can have your case be based on a retainer where the attorney as well as the staff charges an hourly rate and that retainer covers that until it runs out and then you have to renew it. Some attorneys offer flat fee options for your case. What flat fee tends to look like is that there's a presumption of the work or steps need to be taken on your case and you're charged based on that in a flat fee type of posture. And there are many different ways that an attorney can charge for their services. That being said, it's important to understand which one would be implemented in your case. Now, in our firm, we use a combination of both. Depending on the facts or circumstances of your case, we try to tailor a payment plan or payment arrangement that would work to best maximize your representation. The fourth tip is to make sure you know how the attorney or their firm operates. What I mean by that is know how the lawyer works as well as his or her firm works. Some attorneys are what are called solo practitioners and it's just them maybe an assistant and a paralegal. Some attorneys work at large firms in which there's much more structure, much more staff, and there's anything in between. That being said, 
having a good idea of how the attorney and their, their firm works is important for your expectations. If you want one-on-one -on -one contact and attention from an attorney, you may want to consider an attorney who can give you that. However, if you want to know that your case is free flowing and it has its procedures and structure set up, you also may want to consider a larger firm, which may be able to keep up with the needs of your particular case. We here at the Joseph Firm operate on something in between. Although we have a team of attorneys, paralegals, and legal assistants that work on your case, we also strive to give that individual attention from our team to make sure that although that you have a group of people working on your case, you still feel as if your case is the most important. Now the fifth and most important tip in my opinion is to make sure you trust your attorney. If you or someone you know has gone through a family law case and has been represented by an attorney, you will understand how important it is to be able to trust what your attorney says, how they strategize your case, and what they're doing to move your case forward. At the end of the day, you need to be able to trust what your attorney is saying to you, that your attorney can explain why, and that you understand and trust the overall decision in terms of what this attorney chooses to do. Those are five tips I think you should consider when hiring a family law lawyer. And again, I understand the irony of me trying to give you tips on what you can do to hire an attorney. However, at the end of the day, I believe that hiring a lawyer, especially for a family law matter, is one of the most important decisions you can make. I do think that with these five tips, you'll be able to find a competent, capable attorney who you trust to represent you in your family law case. So if you or someone you know are considering hiring a family law attorney, feel free to contact our office and we'll set you up for a consult. And if you enjoyed this video, check out my others. And also like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for you to be updated when we do post new videos. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.